It's a funny thing when you talk about on a personal level, your personal development, the people often say, well, I love to change. I love to change things as long as I don't have to change myself. <laughs> and I think it's because of that we are, we are raised to believe that if ask your stomach, does it feel good or not? And if it doesn't feel good, it's because it's not good. So, so where I like to, to put in something is if it feels good all the way, why should it really challenge and develop you? Because often what, what moves you the most is your own blind spots, the things you're not aware of, the things that other people is seeing in you or that, that you don't see yourself. So if you all the time is asking yourself, does this feel good? Is this good for me? Often you won't uh, challenge yourself and go into the resistance. You, every th time you feel resistance, you will avoid stuff. You will say, well, it doesn't feel good, it doesn't feel right, so I, I don't do it. I don't challenge myself, don't ask that kind of a question. I do not uh, go in that direction regarding myself and my own development. And I think that's, that's actually why we can feel sometimes. I've, I've read all the books, I've taken all the classes, I've, you know, have all the coaches or therapists or whatever. But when I'm honest to myself, I don't really feel fulfilled. And maybe something changed, but I still feel empty inside. I think the nature of resistance is really that resistance is just your mind telling you now you're going or you're entering new country <laughs> and new zone in your life, so to speak. That that. It's like when you, when you travel and you cross the border to a new country, you don't know the language, you don't know the, how, you know, what kind of animals is here, is there anything dangerous, whatever, you, you're insecure because this is, this is a place I've never been before. And then we have this survival kit and part of that survival kit in our mind is resistance. Resistance tell you be aware this is new, I'm not confident in this area. You have to be aware. But many of us, is, we, we've been trained to say, if you have this kind of resistance, you're supposed to walk away. But often <laughs> the gold or the price is buried just in the middle of the things you resist the most. We resist the things we already have the most, but we need to see it. We need to confront it and say, okay, this is me. And that's why I don't like it, because I, I hold it in my container quite a bit myself. You know, this, this law of nature, when something new is born, you have to go through labor. <laughs> it's like when, when a woman is giving birth to a child, she goes through labor. But doing the work is also called labor. So changes. Because you expand something, if it's a big or a small expansion, it doesn't really count, it doesn't really matter. What matters is expansion. And part of expansion is pain. But also, I once I heard a woman say, well, when I'm giving birth to my children, the more pain, the closer I am to see my child. And this is the same with the personal development part. The pain is not the price itself. And we, we resist the pain. So why, why, should, why should I feel pain? I don't need to feel pain. No, you don't need it. It's just part of expansion. But the problem is that we have taught ourselves to see pain as a bad thing. It's not bad. It can really help sometimes. I've, I've heard philosophies about that, that, you know, go into the pain, accept the pain and the pain will disappear. But I think if the pain disappears, the labor disappears. <laughs> so we, we like to say, if I do it more, I like it more. But, but, but I think the more you do it, the, the bigger capacity you have. And a small thing that in the beginning hurts, doesn't hurt in the long run. But then you can make bigger steps, bigger kind of expansions. Because the pain in itself, in the beginning, a small step feels painful. Later on, a big step provides the same pain, but, but having a goal, the pain needs to go away. I think that <laughs> that's where we cheat ourselves. And you know, people is taking 
educations, classes, courses, whatever. And the first couple of years, they really develop. But then comes in this philosophy on pain. Ah, <laughs> now I know what personal development feels like. So the pain goes away. But the reason why the pain goes away is that we do not expand anymore. We are trying to develop the same way as we did before. But of course we did it before. So it's, it's not that kind of labor. It doesn't take the same effort anymore. And then of course the gain of it is not, not as big as it was before. The conclusion about resistance is really simple. Uh, resistance tells you you answer something really important. So resistance is your friend. It tells you exactly this is an area I need to develop because I resisted.